Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a turn worth having. A person who is not coming from an impoverished mindset always does something to their best of their abilities to keep life balance for their life. Life balance is about the eight areas, essential areas, of life balance. Those eight areas I have produced many times on my Twitter account. But isn't it interesting that the Twitter company has allegedly been monitoring me? Or was it a Staples employee? Because at this present time, I cannot get onto either of my two business Twitter accounts. One is for my ministry, of which I made no ugly reference to anyone at all. The other is actually for my marketing business, and I did communicate to that company that they would get a lawsuit from me if their people didn't stop hacking my computers. You see, players in a community who like to play black hat tricks have to do it by stealing something. They either steal access through a Wi-Fi network that, of course, we're all warned about, there's a risk of, but there's something else. They steal intellectual property, they delete photographs of me and my late spouse, they ruin my content by trying to rewrite it, and openly they befuddle themselves every time. You see, a real man, a real woman, would not do something like that because they would not want that done to them. There is a golden rule that says he who makes the gold has the, or he who has the gold makes the rules. But at the same time, there's a golden rule that comes out of our lineage and our heritage that says do unto others as you would have do unto you. Today, a marvelous drug addict started to stalk me in a parking lot, close the gap on me when I was walking with my rollator cart, and openly interfere with me by verbally accosting me to the point that he threatened fisticuffs. When he threatened me with fisticuffs, I stopped and looked at him and said, Really? What are we, 12? Go back to your family. Clearly, you've got a drug addiction, and I'm not interested in you. That man continued to pursue, continued to accost, and then started to get into a boxer stance like he was going to beat me up. He started to verbally threaten me. These are the people that play on the corners as panhandlers across from the Steak and Shake shop. And openly, I never pay any attention to them on purpose. Because I have listened, I have heard, they're shouting, they're dancing, they're looking like they are hopped up on drugs. And I want nothing to do with that. But isn't it marvelous that that woman came off her chart with her alleged need for a rollator herself when she normally walks really slowly and smoothly and purposely to get attention from people in the community, that she was up in seconds running across shouting at me yelling at me on behalf of a man who had already sort of embarrassed himself. You see, when you have the result to be rating someone that you don't even know, a total stranger, you've embarrassed yourself. When you piss all over someone by simply turning and saying, really, you're going to beat me up in today's society because you feel you have rights to do this? What are you, age three? Even a three-year-old knows how to keep his diaper on himself and not do things like that. A five-year-old has by that time has learned where his boundaries are. But these marvelous men are stuck at the concept of age 12 to 13, that they're going to bully someone who doesn't want anything to do with them.